peace be upon you, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the origin of suffering and its causes. Now, traditionally it's said ignorance is the root of suffering. Defining what ignorance is, uh, it's viewed as a separate self as a separate identity existing independent and separate from everything else. Now, wisdom we can define as this interdependence and interconnectedness of everything that we depend upon the sun, we're dependent upon the earth, wind, we're dependent upon the air, space, all the elements, this laptop, uh, this body, this frame comprised of all the elements is interconnected, the heat in the abdomen, the mind being dependent upon the previous moments before that. This interdependence and interconnectedness is root and solid. and. Because we don't see that everything is interdependent and interconnected, this root fundamental ignorance forms that things exist separate and I'm right here. And we already create the sense of separation of me and other. So from this self-grasping and self-cherishing attitude that was just formed comes um, viewing the viewing the object, such as the object of self or other, as either pleasant or unpleasant. So ignorance leads into these various sens sensations and feelings in the body. Pleasant, unpleasant. From there, we have this either pull or push towards it. If we view it as pleasant, we move towards it and see it as something that's attractive. And if it's unpleasant, then we view it as unattractive. Now, the things that we view as attractive, we develop this attachment for it. And when this attachment forms, clinging forms. And the things we view as unpleasant, we develop an aversion for things that, hey, it's not me, I don't want any part of it. And we create further separation. You know, attachments and aversions springing from this original ignorance of separateness and not seeing the interdependence of all things. So once attachments and aversions form, then we become, say, we become comfortable in, in not wanting something else not wanting to integrate because to integrate would require some level of uncomfortability. But the path and the process of integration is becoming whole it requires some level of moving through that uncomfortability to reintegrate it back in. You see? So from attachments and aversions we form these mental formations in our mind, reactions. We react to it. Nope, I don't want that. We form these concepts and conceptual thinking. So this reactional tendency based on our aversions and attachments then creates this karmic loop of actions to unfold, such as if a person um, if I blame a person as, you know, this person's bad, I label that person, and through that labeling, I act. And then further actions are created. I don't want to do with that person anymore. I don't want to interact with that person anymore. And now all future tendencies are put into a wheel from this decision and reaction I made based off an aversion, based off sense and sensation in the body, based off whether something was pleasant or un 
unpleasant. And then based off this fundamental ignorance of viewing that as something existing outside and separate and not connected with me. So this is a, it's a chain. In traditions, they call this the the cyclic wheel or samsara that goes around and around. And we continue to experience it through ignorance and sensations and misconceptions, attachments, aversions, and then reactions, and then and then back back to the ignorance, and the wheel continues again and again, going around and around. So. Essentially, that's the origin of suffering, why we suffer, why we experience uh, difficulties, because we're unconsciously pulled or pushed towards things, not viewing it as already whole and complete. We create these false walls through reactional tendencies, and then we believe those walls are real. Ignorance is nothing but viewing things as inherently real when there is nothing actually there there is no wall the wall is is illusion but we believe it's there so we don't react and if we don't react then the uh, habitual tendencies can dissolve and as we do not react to the attachments and aversions we become aware of the mind and the presence that is observing the emotions and reactions and they can dissolve and rest in its natural place and, and condition that what we're witnessing is this dance of energy this dance of emotions attachments aversions and, and sensations in the body nothing but this energetic display that we label as either good or bad or pleasant or unpleasant so, thank you for listening. May peace be upon you in the new year.